Good morning, beautiful people. It is meal prep day. I'm really excited because there's a lot of work that has to happen in the next week as I prepare to go to Vegas and I don't wanna have to worry about food. I'm gonna prep as much as I can, portion as much as I can out and put it in my freezer so that way it's already done, it's already there, I don't have to think about food. And that also makes the actual meal planning process a little bit easier because I like having things to choose from. My son and I don't like eating the same things and so sometimes he would rather have a burger and I would rather have chili. Having my chili already be in the fridge or in the freezer already done makes my life a lot easier. So I'm gonna be making enchilada soup, which I've shared a recipe for in a prior video. I'm gonna be making no-bake breakfast cookies and some taco meat, like a taco mixture stuff. So that way I have it on hand in case I want things like nachos. I'm going to start the crock pot and get my enchilada soup going and then we're gonna do the no-bake. So let's get started. According to the timer on my camera, that took me 11 minutes and 30 seconds. And if I didn't set everything up to film, it would have taken me a lot less time. So this is easily a meal that you can throw together and put in the crock pot and then just let it go. Now I'm gonna make some no-bake breakfast cookies. Axel loves these. They are super, super easy and they don't take much time at all to make. So these no-bake cookies, normally they have cocoa powder in them, but I am out and I forgot to get some. They do need to cool. So I'm not gonna do cookies, I'm actually gonna do bars. Once it's cool, I'm going to cut them up and keep them in the fridge. The breakfast cookies, breakfast bars are all done. This is what they look like. They smell so good. Mm. And as far as measurements, I didn't measure anything. I guess and check. I just dump it in and really just get a feel. If it looks like the if it looks like the mixture is too wet, I add a few more oats. Um, normally I have cocoa powder and that absorbs a lot of the moisture. This time I just added a little bit more oats and they are quick cook old fashioned oats. Now it is on to making a taco meat mixture and I want nachos, so it's going down. As you can tell, I really don't care about the size of chopping them up or anything like that. The only reason I chop them up at all is just to make it go a little bit further and it's easier to spread on nachos when the chunks of mushroom aren't as big. Look at this, it's so good. I add beans to it to bulk it up. Um, ideally, I would have some Beyond Beef to put in there to just like add some meaty texture. But um, unfortunately, it just wasn't in the budget this month. So I add the beans to bulk it up and it just, it makes nachos taste real good. Also, the enchilada soup is done. Look at this, look. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Today I prepped enchilada soup, breakfast cookies, and I made myself some taco meat. Honestly, now the only thing left to do is make myself some nachos because I'm starving, and I also really want to try some of that because it smells so good. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.